What's up guys, it's your boy, the man, the myth, the legend, Pick Droppers. Back at it again with a Mud Draft Season 2 Game 4 gameplay video. Now in this video you guys see my team, I have Zeke, Willie McGinnis, and DRC, and so my team's looking very good. You saw my team at the start, and you saw the rewards I get if I win four games at the beginning. I've already won three in a row, and so I'm looking to get my fourth win in a row with this team. Definitely like this team. It has been very good for me, and I'm pretty sure I'm in Baltimore's playbook, uh, if I am not mistaken that, or... Uh, I might be in the 49ers playbook, but whatever playbook I'm in, I definitely like it. Actually, yeah, I think it might be the 49ers playbook, uh, but they ha this playbook has definitely been very good for me. I know a lot of formations that I like in it. I like the pistol. I like this formation right here, monster. Uh, I also like bunch a lot. You'll see me run that for almost all the game. Uh, this is out of bunch, and so the whole game, I'm really trying to uh, see what can work against my opponent. I already started out the game with the user pick, so it's pretty much like uh, him starting out with ball and uh, us getting out a getting a turnover. So whatever I do here, it's pretty much a free drive, and we end up throwing it up. Definitely should have punted that, uh, but it's pretty much like nothing ever happened. He gets the ball back right around where uh, he gave the ball up, uh, but it definitely sucks because I would have liked to get some points right there and gone up at least 3-0 to zero, uh, because I really don't like when my opponent scores first, especially when we have a chance to score first and we don't. Uh, and that was just all my fault. I made some dumb plays. Sh definitely should not have gone for it on fourth. And then you guys see my opponent ends up running into the end zone, going up four, uh, going up 7-0. to zero. Uh, Just a great run by him. He found the open hole and ended up scoring, but... Next drive, almost right away, uh, we end up scoring a touchdown deep to DeAndre Hopkins. He's such a good deep threat in Madden and in real life. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's like 6'3", and he's really fast, so he is just a match make. Uh, it's just so hard to match up with him, and I definitely uh, was surprised he beat him by that much. Definitely was lucky I did not throw another uh, or uh, definitely lucky I didn't turn over the ball uh, and threw another uh, in interception. Actually, no, that would have been our first interception. Uh, but you guys will see right here my opponent extending the plays, getting the first down. And my opponent definitely did a very good job doing that. We end up getting a sack right there, forcing him into a second and 20. Uh, but beautiful play right there. He caught me in man coverage, had multiple people open right there. Again, dotting me in the cover two, right down the middle in between the two safeties. That is how you beat a cover two. And so we're going to just try and get some points up before half. As you guys see, less than 40 seconds to go, 35 seconds and counting. We end up throwing an ah, absolute dot, but they called in an incompletion. We end up doing the same out route to the right side. And my opponent adjusted right there, right here. We have nobody open. I decided to throw it short to Zeke. Luckily, he gets out of bounds. We still have our three timeouts. I'm trying to find someone open. We should not be holding the ball for this long. I end up going and running with Drew Brees for the first down. He's definitely not the most agile quarterback, uh, so we were definitely lucky we got that many yards. And then we end up running it in for the touchdown after we throw a super dot to our tight end to the left uh, sideline, and we end up tying the game at 14. And going into half, we start out with ball. I don't know what my opponent was doing right there. We had someone wide open, but I was unable to come down with the catch. I would have liked Breeze to throw have thrown it way more to the outside, and I probably should should not have uh, aggressive caught the tried to aggressive caught the ball, uh, but that was just a very unfortunate situation. Uh, and you guys will see, I end up just starting to run the ball, run, run, run. You guys know that's my game plan almost all the time because you can't throw an interception when you're running the ball. And the only bad thing that can happen uh, to where he gets the ball is if I fumble the ball. Uh, because there's really not too many plays where you lose too many yards. Uh, as you guys saw right there, I ended up losing three yards. But usually it's only two, three yards that you lose. And you guys will see right here, horrible read by me. Either he would have user looked that or his computer would have gotten the interception. You guys see I end up turning over the ball, and that is why I stick to the run game. Because whenever I have to pass the ball, things get ugly. Uh, I definitely make some very stupid reads. You guys will see right here we burst him into a third and 16, so he has to go deep. He can't find anybody, and it ends up being a fourth and 22. He punts the 
the ball. DRC getting the return, getting the ball all the way down to his 24-yard line. That was huge. Uh, right here, I wanted to see if he was going to run commit. He did not, so I decided to go with the short pass. And then we just keep running the ball, running it down his throat, trying to waste out some clock. Right here, we have nobody open. We go for the short pass. Third and seven. One thing you cannot do here is get out of bounds. You guys see me running with my quarterback. I end up going down the sideline, trying to avoid a hit. I go out of bounds. What a bad decision by me. I could have either wasted a timeout or wasted more clock. And so my opponent has the ball with less than a minute 10 to go. He only needs three points. He throws it deep. And I end up catching the interception. Eric Berry with the clutch interception. We bring it back all the way to the 16-yard line. And as you guys know this very well, the connection to your peer has been lost. He probably disconnected his Ethernet cord or something like that. You guys see my rewards for winning four games. Definitely some very good rewards. I ended up making around 50K off of the 20K, and then that pool was about 20K. Definitely some nice rewards right there. Uh, so thank you guys for watching this video. Please like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And write a comment down below on what you'd like to see next. It's your boy Pick Droppers, and I'm out. Peace!